The Trabant 601S by Ravel, Germany. Coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, tonight I get to open up the lid on Ravel Monogram's Trabant 601S by Ravel, Germany, actually. And this car is actually, again, one of my personal collections. But this one is very special because the real car in East Germany, in the age of the communists, this is 1958, the real car was actually made out of paper mache and fiberglass, which is quite an amazing feat. It's a two-cycle, two-stroke motor. And you'll notice this little teddy bear that's glued on here. It's a sticker. This was actually from one of my friends that I was a pen pal, you know, before the internet, when we actually did pen and paper and put stamps on envelopes and mailed them across the world. I had a pen pal in the early 90s. She was from East Germany, and she sent this model out to me because I really liked the Trabant. Now, that being said, I'm going to honor my old friend of the past and go down and open it up and show you what's in the box. And now for another car out of the former communist East Germany, we have the Trabant 601S Trabi. And now let's open her up and examine this little jewel. Okay, so just move the plastic pieces out of the way for a minute as we examine the instructions. Now this is a Ravel of Germany kit, which is always nice. Comes with the little flags telling you which colors. So as you go through your instruction sheet, you actually get to see what colors to paint things. It was introduced in 1990 by Ravel. And like I said, this was actually sent to me from a pen pal I had pre-internet days from Germany. So there's our little body with the uh, glass going in and the headlights. You get this multi-piece steering column and a dashboard with a little glove compartment thing. It's always pretty cool. Separate door panels. Now I have built this kit before and it does go together fairly easily. It does not have an engine in it though, which would have been nice. Oh, what's this? Surprise! <laughs> Here's some decals. Now this is kind of cool because it's got DDR, which was uh, Deutschland Democratic Republic, which was the communist state. And then it's got the post-Berlin Wall falling down, where they just crossed out the DR and had D for Deutschland. Comes with a little decal for the radiator and the instrument panel, as well as a bunch of East German and German license plates. Now what's this thing? This is cool. Oh, in German, it gives you all the breakdown of the car. Which, of course, now you could just uh, copy this somehow into a Google Translator and find out what they're talking about. And it shows a Rally Cup winner. <laughs> Trabant. Two-cylinder, two-cycle racing. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so the roof actually is a separate piece that you cut out and glue to the roof of the car, which we will take a look at in a minute here. But yeah, fairly simplistic. It also gives you this luggage rack on the top. And there is the drawing of the Trabant. So now, there's our little body. And as you can see, the roof is very weird. It does need a piece to glue on the top. And here's a fun Trabby fact for you. The actual real car is made out of resin-dipped paper mache the body. The body is. Which was quite a revolutionary concept, and I do like the idea of it, that this plastic car is actually a real thing over in East Germany. Or, now Germany. And a lot of uh, Romanians have these cars around. Now, I am going to open this bag. 
just to show you what's in it. Oh, is there a way to cheat here? Maybe. Yes, it is already open. So, just needed to remove some tape. Okay. All right, so let's just move this over here. That's all the parts falling off. Oh my goodness. Okay, here is... <laughs> and what a day to use the gray tablecloth. Here is the undercarriage of this. And you can see there's very crisp detail in these parts. I mean, look at those door panels with all their little lines in there. There's actually... Some of these cars, if you look them up, were two-tone. They'd have a darker brown on the bottom and a lighter on the top. Looking at the other sides, pretty simplistic. <laughs> Doesn't have rubber tires, they're just solid plastic. I guess because the tires are are quite narrow, actually. It might be hard to do this in rubber. You can see the dashboard is just a flat panel. Or, that's the dashboard back. There should be a dashboard front somewhere. There's that roof. Interesting, it's molded in gray. So there's your car there. Uh, yeah, I guess it was molded in gray. I do recall painting it, I believe. I should have brought the built model today. That would have been nice. There's that luggage rack, the perimeter. Be careful when you're cutting this out that you don't, like, snap it as you're cutting it out of there. And I just tossed that over there, like, with no regard. Okay, anyway. And here's the glass for our car. Which is quite nice. There is no... There are no red pieces for the glass. I do believe you have to paint those on. I'm going from memory here. There's our dashboard in the front. You can see it's much like the Mini and those other tiny cars. It has one central speedometer right in the middle, and that's about it. So, that concludes our review of the Trabant 601S. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the Revell Germany Trabant 601S that was shipped oh, all the way over from the former East Germany by my friend and old pen pal. So thank you, dear. <laughs> and if you would like to see more of our model cars that are available at our web store, please check out www.monster-hobbies.ca. Like and subscribe to us here and click that notification bell. And check out these three other amazing videos. And until next time, we will see you when the wall falls.